Hello everyone, Gear Show and Teller here. Call me Teller for short. So last video, I showed you the Cold Steel Black Rock Hunter right here. It came with a lanyard. I enjoyed using that lanyard. I would slip this lanyard into my pinky, pull the knife out. It made this knife very comfortable very comfortable and very fun to carry to use for everyday carry and the choya right here just made this made it so much more comfortable in my hand now that we're on the talk about topic of choils I I decided when I found this video this video I was watching from Mr. Nothing Fancy. Mr. Nothing Fancy. And later on, it popped up on Cutlery Lover's video as well. Cutlery Lover's channel. This next knife is a Spyderco. So I found a Spyderco to be excited about again. Price tag. Oh boy. I think retail, it was about close to a hundred bucks. But a good retail, more decent retail, we can call it seventy to maybe ninety dollars in between that range. And when I found it, I was ecstatic. I, 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 I carry at this point in time of my collection. At this point in the time, this knife was was carried the most. And I would watch other knife videos, and I wasn't impressed because of how impressed I was with this knife. Okay, dun da da da. I grabbed, yes, a Spyderco Paramilitary 2. Paramilitary 2. This knife, immediately in my hand. Okay, first, I'm used to knives having some weight to it. Remember my video about the bird car, car stainless steel handle? I liked it. I put this in my hand, it would, it's not. It's not that heavy. It's not that heavy. But once I opened it, I looked at the blade shape. I fell in love. I put it in my hand. I fell in love. And come on, come on. You see it. I know you see it. Yeah! It's the finger choil. The finger choil sealed the deal. The finger choil sealed the deal on just how much I loved this knife when I first got it. So nice. Well, it's G10 handles. These are G10 handles. And I got introduced to the compression lock. Right there, the compression lock. It's a lot like a liner. Uh, give me one second here. Oh, I know what I'll do. Here's an L. I once used the word L. Here is a cheapo knife. Maxim uh, for 20 bucks. I got a pack of these small blades, long blades for about 20 bucks from Big Five. And this is all I was exposed to a liner lock. Come on, there you go. A cheap knife, very cheap knife. So I'm used to liner locks. This is a liner lock on the top, right up here. I have to admit though, as much as I love holding this knife in my hand, I was getting really off put on how I closed it. I was doing crap like this, using my thumb and then trying to flick it like this. And that just wasn't working because I'm afraid this thing is going to cut me. And Cutlery Lover, I love uh, Jeff Smith. <laughs> he saved my life on this one. I figured out. He told just to use your index finger and pinch. And then if the blade is good, oh, look how smooth that is. So here we go. Here's your gratuitous macro shots. Huge, huge uh, lanyard hole. Huge, huge lanyard hole. And I think I have one. Yeah, here you go. I took this lanyard off a uh, off one of my other knives that I don't use anymore especially because I sold it look at that a gutted 
550 paracord it fits so nicely in that line it's, gig it's gigantic gigantic compared to what you're being to what you're used to seeing well back to this four position pocket clip design open pillar flow through the liners inside are milled out which adds to how light this sucker is you gotta love that Spyderco bug right there mm-hmm gigantic lanyard hole well so about this much of the knife sticks out when it's in your pocket I I don't have much of a much of a problem I'm, I'm no, I don't favor a deep carry pocket clip over something else it's just not much of a problem with me because I, it's like an accessory especially if I do have a lanyard coming out of it which I typically don't but the Black Rock Hunter just made so much more sense having the lanyard come like that and it comes with it so I'm not going to take it off okay and here we go do this one more time for all of you pop alright this leaf shape this sealed the deal on me becoming a Spyderco fan the leaf shaped blades that they have so nice there's your blade steel right there CPM S30V one of the high-end steels which is why this thing costs so much along with the oversized lanyard hole it has an oversized opening hole this this is another thing that sealed the deal this larger than life opening hole I, I fell in love here I'll get the knife for a little bit I'll be right back <coughs> so we'll do a comparison there's your opening hole for my Endura G10 and a fair fair measurement I can use this AAA battery right here see how much clearance there is all right now here's the paramilitary 2 look at that so that te that tells you right there that tells you the difference Sal Glesser, Eric Glesser logo right there oh I'm sorry this is Eric Glesser there's Sal and this is a US made knife come on there you go Golden Colorado USA Earth US made knife here you close up with the compression lock this knife I'm, I was very proud of it loved it very much compression lock pocket clip I, I love I still do I still love this knife every now and then I will rotate this into my final three I have a final three set of knives that I carry in my collection as of late I can't seem to rotate them out it's hard to rotate rotate them out so what I ended up doing I just carried all three <sighs> after holding this knife in my hand again it just might become four. Oh, great so spider co paramilitary 2 love and I told you in the previous video I don't want to overuse the word love but I love this knife I even love it more than I do this Endura hmm the Endura has its sexiness too it's just it, it cost a lot of money oh yeah okay so Spyderco paramilitary 2 very popular from the Spyderco line this sealed the deal made me a Spyderco fanboy now and forever I, I, I just can't say no to Spyderco after owning this knife now and forever And there you go there you go now that's much better for you to read okay spider co military 2 gear show and teller signing out